Hey there, this is Sarah Michelle Brown, your virtual video director here, and I am so excited to welcome you back to the Express Yourself series for entrepreneurs. And today I have, like, I'm so geeking out over my awesome guest today because she is one of my social media heroes. She's just awesome. Her name is Karen Yankovic. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> You're my video hero. Yay. So we're even. <laughs> and, um, I've known you as a LinkedIn evangelist. I don't know if you're still going by that. I know that's like social media guru awesomeness, but what do you go by these yeah. days? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm a social media consultant in general, yeah. but um, I kind of approach social media from a kind of reverse engineer it. And I talk about how it's really important to start with your personal brand and, you know, all your social media it needs to start with your personal brand. People want to know that the people behind the business yes. are confident and strong and, and worthy of their money. Right. So so everybody starts with LinkedIn if they work with me, <laughs> even though it's social media in general. That's kind of where we start because I really think it's so, so important for all of us. I love it. And you know, like I'm, I'm one of those LinkedIn skeptics. So I think we're going to, Oh my gosh, you're a tough one to crack. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. <laughs> and I just have to let people know because I think this is just so cool. And one of the reasons why I'm so excited to have you on is you're one of the awesome ladies who basically scolded me into starting a business and was like, when I was, I was, you know, a meager, not a meager, a mild mannered um, artist, writer and director doing my thing. I just brought my play to New York. And I was like, guys, I feel like I want to start a business, but I don't know what it should be about. And you ladies went over to my website and you saw my directing reel and you came back and you were like, excuse you. <laughs> you're like, are you, you're a director and an actor and all that jazz. Like you actually, you're real. This is what you do. And I said, yeah. And what did you guys say? We said, well, we need one of those. <laughs> All of us entrepreneurs need one of those because I don't know the first thing about directing my videos or what to do and how to do it. So, um, yeah. It was, yeah. It was so cool. It was kind of like one of those fun. magic moments. I got yes. goosebumps. And so you, you definitely right. have a very special place in my life and in my heart. And I'm well, that's nice to hear. That's nice to hear. And I'm happy that I'm happy that it's working for you. Yeah. No, it's cool. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And there's, you know, people who just, you know, need some help expressing themselves. So, right. um, so let's dive in with, uh, with LinkedIn. Okay. Because, you know, this could get a little controversial or talk today. It could be pulling out the, the gloves and chatting. <laughs> um, That's why we work so well together, Sarah, because you've got the whole, I'm an artist, right brain thing going on. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the money. Yeah. You know, left brain thing going on. So. It's so true. It's so true. So, so talk to me about LinkedIn. Tell me or tell our peeps yeah, why so, LinkedIn. Okay. So, you know, no matter what we buy today, if we buy a car, we're researching the, the car dealership, right? The manufacturer, we're checking out the models, we're doing the research, but at some point we're probably going to take the business card of the salesperson we're working with and throw their name in a Google search. Cause that's what we do now. We want to know about the people that we're doing business with yeah. and what's going to come up is their LinkedIn profile. So I'm not saying that you won't buy a car from this guy if he doesn't have a great LinkedIn profile. But what I am saying is, isn't it great when you find out that the guy that you're dealing with has won all these awards and has been at the dealership for 10 years and you just feel so much more confident and you're so much more likely to buy from him. So I want you to turn that and put that in your world. When people do business with you, they're Googling you, they're searching you. Take the opportunity to have a great LinkedIn profile so you can tell them what you want them to know about you so that they hire you. And mm -hmm. You know, if we if we meet at a networking event and I woke up to you and I go, oh, I'm Karen Yankovic and I'm a social media expert and I got 50,000 Twitter followers, you'd be like, okay, I really could care less, you know, like, sweetie. You know, <laughs> well, like, nobody well, wants I'd to be nerding bragging. Out. I would be right? nerding out if I heard that. Okay, well, maybe, but for the most part, you can't meet people and start bragging about yourself, yes, right? True. But if you meet people and you have a business card and on your business card is your LinkedIn URL, it's kind of an implied... Uh, you know, saying, I'd like, I'd love to connect with you. Um, and when they check you out the next day and they see all the great things that you've done, how awesome is that? So, so pleasantly surprise people by having a great LinkedIn profile, telling them all the great things that you do. Yeah. And, and so that goes for every single one of us. Mm -hmm. As a social media consultant, I never say everybody needs Facebook, everybody needs Twitter, but everybody needs LinkedIn. <laughs> everybody at the very least, you have to have a great profile because it tells the world, you know, how great you are. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm sold on that part. Here's the part mm -hmm. I'm not sold on, is I find, um, speaking of expressing yourself, like I find a lot of times like my engagement with people or people who reach out to me, they're, they're just like emailing me to say that they wanna sell me something or sign up for my list. Like I don't, I, I have not 
I had much luck in having authentic conversations. Feels like very salesy. So talk to me. Okay, about so that. so those are all people that have emailed you. What about people that you've emailed? I have not emailed anybody. There you go. <laughs> Except there for people go. I already know. So if you <laughs> so if you engage in groups, right? Yeah. If you engage in groups, like so you pick a group, whatever group it is. It could be a business group, it could be a local chamber of commerce group, whatever. People are gonna start to connect with you. So if once a week, once a month, you go in and you sort your connections by the recency of the connection, you take the last ten and you send them a oh, let me turn that off. You send them a, you send them something that says, Thanks so much for connecting with me. Um, I see that you are a social media person oh god I really need social media and interesting I used to live in that area or we both worked at McDonald's or whatever you know I'd love if, if I can support you in any way on LinkedIn please let me know so if those 10 people maybe six of them or seven of them might even respond back to you and if they responded back to you now you've started that conversation and it's not I'm not a fan of saying okay now you have an online pen pal because now your goal is to take that offline and get on the phone with them and you don't know where that conversation will go. But you, if you initiate the conversations and you find some interesting people you want to talk to, and, and I'm not saying pick, don't pitch yourself. Don't do those things that everybody else is doing to you. Offer to help them. Say, you know, I'm, I'm happy to connect you with people if I can. Um, I love LinkedIn. You might not have, be able to go there yet. But I love LinkedIn and I'm happy to connect you with them if I can. Um, let me know what I can do to help you. That starts a conversation, and that conversation may or may not turn into a, 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 a partnership. Maybe they're not going to hire you, but they may say, I know this person, or you really need to meet this person. It's a great conversation starter, and it starts with you, though. It starts with you in engaging those conversations, and you'll, you'll quickly find that it, you know, it happens pretty easily. That's so interesting. Yeah. I, it's so funny. I felt so like shamed when you how many emails have you said? None. Ah. <laughs> well, and that's like, exactly but that's what people do on LinkedIn. They don't realize because you do every, everybody gets those, right? But last week, you know, so I'm I'm doing an event in um in Austin and last week I just started emailing people authentically on LinkedIn saying, Hey, I'm gonna be back in town. I got so many great conversations out of that. It wasn't, and it was a sales thing because I want them to come to my workshop, right? But, but I didn't say, you know, I was like, hey, I, you know, we met at the conference for women a couple months ago, and I just want to let you know I'm going to be back in town. I'm doing this workshop. I'd love to talk to you about it if you're, you know, if you're free. And I would say more, way more than sixty or seventy percent have re responded to me, and of that. Some of them started great conversations. Some of them were like, "Oh, I'm thanks so much for remembering me, right?" Because I make time. I take the time to create. You know, I I tag them on LinkedIn, and so I know where I met them. You know, when they connect with me, I tag them. Conference for women. So so when I talk to them, they they feel like I'm authentically connecting with them. Yeah. So there's ways to do those things that you're experiencing that are more authentic and more um, conversational. Yeah. So what would you say as far as people actually? you know, expressing themselves and being authentic because it can be hard. Like you're not in person. It's all writing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part with, you know, unless you're going to send these people videos, which, you know, maybe you want to do that. I don't Absolutely know. Absolutely can. Um, you, can you, don't, you can have videos on your LinkedIn profile. You don't have to send them yeah. to them. You can just scatter them around your profile. That's true. So, so if you were to give a tip to people who are like, uh, I don't know, not authentically expressing themselves on LinkedIn or who have not gone to LinkedIn, LinkedIn yet because they have felt you know, it felt too salesy like me. Um, what advice do you give them to like be authentic when they're talking to people and reaching out? You know, the first thing I, li I like to do is talk about your profile. The first thing you need to do is really spend time on your profile because you don't want to be going, you, you want them to know what you do without you having to tell them, right? So if you have a great profile and your profile tells them all, this, all the experience you have, all the classes you take, all the certifications you have, if you've got your portfolio, if you've got some videos, you know, Add all that to your profile so that they know all of this before you have a conversation with them. Mm. Right? If they want to check you out, they've already they already kind of have a sense for what you are. And I I like to say, you know, when I scan down your profile, I want to see the same thing over and over. You know, a lot of us are multi passionate, right? But but there's there still needs to be kind of one thing you want to be known for, right? So for you, maybe it's video, maybe it's you know that doesn't mean maybe it's directing because that kind of incorporates both your acting and your video you know your business right so so maybe it's directing and then I like to kind of build everything from that angle so people know that there's no doubt like if they look at you know even if you were a 
you know, if you were a, I don't know, if you were a waitress, right, we would talk in there somehow about how that led to your directing career. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that you met so many people and, you know, you loved doing it because it, it was gave you an opportunity to, to really engage with so many different personalities and that helped you. So no matter what your job is, we take it and we build it up to where you are today. Yeah. Um, and that's that's one that's important. That's yeah. important. Yeah. And I'll just say this: I I really would uh, being a waitress would be a terrible choice for me because I'm such a klutz. Like one year at Christmas, <laughs> I tripped, I fell up the stairs. The other year at Christmas, I fell down the stairs. Like <laughs> uh, so, I would break things so quickly. But yeah, um, me too. but it, me too. it does make sense that you filter everything so that you're being authentic and you're expressing one major central idea about who you are. Yeah. That's, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. It does. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then once that profile's done, and that's where all the work is, once that profile's done, you don't have to work so hard mm -hmm. to let people know what you do and how well you do it and who your clients are. They know all of that already. Mm -hmm. So you can just start to engage with them, you know, on that authentic level. And, yeah. and genuinely, you know, if you can help them connect with them, help them connect with them. Yeah. When you have those conversations, you have to have them with a with no goal in mind, yeah. right? With no idea. Like you can't say, "Well, what is this person going to do for me?" Like you, if you say that, you're done. You have to just <laughs> you really you have to yeah. just have the conversation and see where it goes. And maybe you made a new friend. And yeah. I know none of it, a lot of us have time for that, but you need to make time for that because you never know where that partner will be, and you never know that conversation two years from now they may go, "You know what? I talked to this woman one time, Sarah, and mm -hmm. she's probably a great connection for you." So yeah. those conversations are important, even if they don't if you don't understand why today. Yeah. So do you think that the biggest mistake people make when expressing themselves on LinkedIn is just being salesy is like not taking the time to get to know people and just like saying, here's what I do or, or, or is it I actually else? think, I actually think the biggest mistake people make are treating it like a resume mm -hmm. instead of, instead of sharing their personality. So when I do, like if I go to an event, I typically do, I often try to do a lot of like mini LinkedIn profile reviews. So I take a look at lots and lots of LinkedIn profiles and I would say more than half the time people don't even have a summary. And a summary is where you can say, hey, I'm Sarah and I'm, I'm so passionate about helping you create great videos, right? So that's where your personality stands out and that's what makes it not a resume. So if you look at it as just a resume, it's people are, could, are not going to care. But even if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for an actual job, mm -hmm. you still want to have a LinkedIn profile that reflects your personality, not just your skills and your education. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. I just love you. You're so talented. <laughs> <laughs> for, a week when we're done, for a week when we're done, you're going to look at LinkedIn and then after a week, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'll be like, where are my arts? I got to go do direct something. <laughs> but you know what? L LinkedIn now allows you to have a header image. It now allows you to put all kinds of mixed media on your profile. So all the things we were complaining about, LinkedIn has yeah. has answered and is allowing us to have these me media rich, feature rich, um, gorgeous, graphically designed profiles. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, I will give it another look. <laughs> so next up, uh, Karen. I'm going to invite you to take part in what I call the Express Yourself Speed Round. Okay, da, wow. Da, da, da. Okay. So I'm going to ask you some questions and I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? okay. So there's no <laughs> like, don't think okay. about it. Yeah, it could be crazy. Okay. Okay? okay. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Okay, ready? Here we go. What is your favorite word? Oh, sunshine. What is your least favorite word? <sighs> least favorite word first I don't know god do I have a least favorite word I guess I guess it stuck stuck okay what sound or noise do you love kids playing at the beach hmm. what sound or noise do you hate fighting fighting like yeah discourse like yeah and what makes you shine What makes me shine? My the people around me, my friends and family. I love it. I love it. Okay, so so if, if you could kind of quickly tell people what you're up to right now and um, where they might be able to find you and all that jazz. Yeah. So you know, I am. Um, 
I'm working on a bunch of different things, but primarily I, I help people with their LinkedIn profiles at, at, to begin with, right? From there, I do a lot of consultations. So if anybody wants to talk about their social media in general, I'm always happy to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but I have a couple of different programs that help people with their LinkedIn profiles. I have um, a free opt-in on my website that, that people can get some information on LinkedIn. So if you go to my website, there's tons and tons of blog posts. I post one every week without fail. Um, lots of them about LinkedIn, lots of them about personal branding. So it's, it's about social yes. media, but how to use it from that personal brand standpoint. Mm -hmm. And all of my social media is at Karen Yankovich. So I'm hard to miss. At Karen Yankovich is the, tw is the handle. Yep. And then it's KarenYankovich.com where they can yep. go and find your, your website, website yep. and if blogs. they want to get some free things and blogs and stalk you. I mean, yep. I mean, creep, you know, <laughs> just find you. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Stalk me. <laughs> awesome. So, um, before we start wrapping up here, I wonder, uh, I would like to offer our people a call to action today, courtesy of you. Ooh, okay, well, it's not going to be an easy one. Um, I am going to challenge you, everybody that's listening or watching to write a LinkedIn profile headline. And that's the thing that's next to your name. Not, and I don't want it to say I'm an accountant. Nobody cares that you're an accountant. Nobody cares that you're CEO, right? They want to know what you do for them. So I want you to write a headline that tells people who you are, who you help, and how you help them. And I want you to do it in a really confident way. You're the best. You're an expert. You are, you know, you, be really confident. And when you feel a little sick to your stomach, that's when you push send. All right? So, so... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So put them below and we'll take a look at them and you know, I'll help you if you need my help. I'll take a look at them too. And, and I'll, I'll help you, uh, get them strong and confident. Oh, that's great. So they leave a comment with their headline. Mm -hmm. You'll come in and be like, here's how it can be better. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully yeah. I'll say that's, that's awesome. But usually it's like, okay, so what makes you, why, you know, tell me that you're great. Don't tell me that you're okay. Mm. So quick question as people are, are starting to think now about their LinkedIn headline, do you think it should be like about, ben so it should be about benefits, not features? It should be, why people want to know what, what you can do for them. So if, yeah. for instance, if you're a financial planner, nobody cares that you're a financial planner. But if you say, I'm a financial planner and I help women over 50 transition from the workforce to, you know, to a, a more of a retirement stage, now I'm listening, right? Because that's my thing. So, so think about who your ideal client is and what they want to know from you, what you help them with mm -hmm. and, and tell them again, who you are, who you help. So you don't just help anybody, right? You help entrepreneurs, you help small businesses, you help women over, you know, whatever. Um, and how you help them. Okay. I help them prepare for, I help them, you know, rock their video or I help them be confident on camera. Okay. Oh, this is so delicious. Karen. Are you going to do one, Sarah? I'm going to do one and I'm going to leave it All in right. the comment below All right. because I have one right now and I think it's kind of like, like, I guess it's, it's about keeping your personality too and mm -hmm. not just, you know, trying to sound like a business person. And use your keywords. Think about what people are searching for that you want to come up as the search result and use those keywords in that headline too. So the headline is the most important part of your profile. So that's the one I want you to take the most time on. Use the keywords. It's searchable not only by LinkedIn, but by Google. So if you put that you're a video, you know, where if you like, let's say you're a massage therapist in, yeah. you know, Toledo, yeah. if you use that word Toledo in there, man, because you want people to come. So, okay. so think about what your keywords are and, use those in there too. So it's a, it's the hardest thing. Once you have that done, by the way, once you have it done, you can now copy and paste it to all your other social media platforms as your, as your summary. Love it. Okay. All right. Is there anything else that you want to leave people with about expressing themselves authentically and in, in LinkedIn specifically? You know, just, just be really confident. P portray yourself like the people that are your absolute idols are your peers. I love that. I love that. I freaking love that. Okay. All right. So, Okay, well, um, okay, people, if you are ready um, to really start rocking LinkedIn and uh, join me <laughs> in the journey into LinkedIn and really start to check it out, like you've got to go at Karen Yankovich, go to karenyankovich.com, go say hey, say hi, say help me. <laughs> like, just Karen is so freaking awesome. So I really, really. I'd love to help you hi. all. So jump in and, and connect with me and tell me you saw me with Sarah, you saw our conversation and, uh, you know. 
and we take it from there. Yeah, (laughs) we'll see what we can do. Awesome. Well, Karen, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks so much for having me. This has been awesome. And thank you for helping to create my business idea. Oh, (laughs) you are my absolute pleasure. It's so much fun watching you. I mean, Sarah and I have known each other for a couple of years now, so we've we've kind of watched each other go through so many different, I mean, because our business, all everybody's business evolves, right? So it's been fun to watch you evolve. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's so cool. And likewise. Very cool. Okay. So thank you for joining me. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who has been joining our conversation and watching in. Thank you so much for listening and make sure that you get involved because we want you to join the conversation that we've been having. So leave a comment below with your current LinkedIn headline or work on that LinkedIn headline and just put it down there and we'll see what Karen has to say because she's going to help you really make it like pop and shine and be awesome. So yeah, don't miss this opportunity. So go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, Other than that, uh, I guess on behalf of myself and everybody, I'm going to thank Karen again for, for dropping by, (laughs) so to speak. My absolute pleasure to be here, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Okay. And to everybody, just remember, it's so important to express who you are in your business and in your videos, of course, and on social media and to be yourself because that's who people want to connect with. So until next time, this is Sarah Michelle Brown and Karen Yankovic. And (laughs) we just want to say dream up.